Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we'll be reacting to Thomas Sowell TV. This one is Thomas Sowell reverses position on Donald Trump. Wow, check it out. This is the mandatory subject, Donald Trump. During the presidential campaign, you wrote a column, this is when you still had your column, that appeared under, under the headline, Choose Trump, he'd be easier to impeach. <laughs> And you wrote that voters faced a choice between, I'm quoting you, two out-of-control people, one of whom is going to be president. And you said since Hillary Clinton would be the first woman chief executive, she'd be very difficult to impeach. But Trump would be easier to kick out, so vote for Trump. Uh, now that he's been in office for a year, what do you make of him? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, uh, let me say that, that just recently Walter Williams sent me a, a, a video of Donald Trump in his mid-30s being interviewed. Uh, and so I've had to uh, back off on one of the things I've said, which is that uh, Trump is someone who has simply never grown up. He was very grown up in his mid-30s. <laughs> Speaking of retrogression. And, uh, and it's scary because how many people are more mature in their mid-30s than they are at age 70? All right. And, and given the trend line, uh, wh how optimistic should we be about his uh, becoming more grown up as time goes on? All right. All right. But in terms of, of the people he put, uh, surrounded himself with, I think on the whole, they're a better bunch than either of the last two presidents had. So he has very good people. I think of uh, Jim Mattis at the uh, defense. Yeah. Uh, but but, but, but who other people are around him. And the question is, is he going to listen to them? All right. Let me play you a brief excerpt of Donald Trump himself. This is from the State of the Union address this past January. This will be my first time to hear It's something I'm very proud of. African-American unemployment stands at the lowest rate ever recorded. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. He, he, he produces a statistic. Maybe the statistic isn't quite right. Either. Maybe no, it is. It is. It is. Yes. And there you see a shot. You see Republicans standing and applauding. And there you sh see a shot of Democrats who are sitting on their hands, including many members of the Black Caucus yes. in Congress. What do you make of that? That, as with so many other groups around the world, the leaders of groups that are lagging are often themselves the, one of the biggest handicaps of those groups because they have to depict the problems uh, in ways that will allow them to play the role of rescuers. And so there'll be no talk about how you can do this or that for yourself. There'll be talk about what we can get the government to deliver for you. And usually that, that, that's a lot of words and, and things that have bad effects. And that's true not only with blacks in the United States, it's true of... Uh, people in uh, the lower income people in England and, and else. See, you would think black people would only vote for Republicans, considering, considering the Democrats are the ones that are trying to keep, in, that are trying to keep them enslaved, which is, which is bad, which is bad. See, I know that everyone says that they want something different, a massive change. Someone who doesn't talk like every other politicians, shake up the system that that doesn't look like every other politician and shake up the system and as soon as one shows up they go into full panic like melts down support the entrenched system at any cost mood and you see them immediately like a bunch of white less white blood cells fighting of an infection yeah they get even more comfortable from the, the most obvious lies and clumsy propaganda, which is bad. I just love, see, if Thomas, if Thomas Sowell could say everything, if Thomas Sowell could reverse everything about Donald Trump, then who are you not to vote for Donald Trump? Who are you not to get on the vote, uh, Donald Trump train? Hmm. Come this 20, 24 November, come out and vote. Let me know your thoughts and... Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Like, watch, and subscribe to my channel. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.